In last tutorial, we had used object snap and track when creating basic objects. In this tutorial, we will introduce those snap and track tools in detail. Now let's take a look at status bar. Turn off all the settings here so that I can ensure that when I am selecting those object snaps, I'm specifically selecting which I want to use. For example, starting the line command, press Shift K and right click in the drawing area. Here I can choose midpoint to snap to the midpoint of the objects. Select the start point for the line. This time choose perpendicular. You will notice that the glyph appears as soon as I touch the line indicating where the perpendicular snap will land. Select the point, draw the line and press enter to exist the line command. And then choose object snap by right clicking the icon in status bar. Click Settings. This time I will enable midpoint, endpoint, and center snap. Once enabled the all snap in status bar, it will automate the process of selecting those snaps and keep working until you enable it. Draw a circle here. Then start the line command and snap to the endpoint of the window. You will notice that as soon as I touch a circle, center glyph is displayed. Click the center at end point of the line, press enter. Continue to turn on the quadrant snap. Start line command. You will notice that as I touch the quadrant or the circle, the closest quadrant is then identified. Simply select that point and right click. Select Snap Overrides, select Perpendicular to end this line. You can repeat the process for other three quadrants too. There are many other O-Snap options available to make picking specific points easily.